just as Pittsburgh emerged at the confluence of the Allegheny and Monongahela Rivers, City as Our Campus emerges at the confluence of Winchester Thurston's mission and its dynamic location in the Educational, Cultural, and Research Center of Pittsburgh. In 2004, a grant from the Edward E. Ford Foundation, matched anonymously by a generous WT alumna, catapulted City as Our Campus from concept to reality. The vision of City as Our Campus was to utilize the considerable resources of our neighborhood, our city, and our region to enrich the curriculum. Our intent was to extend Winchester Thurston's active student-centered classroom approach to a dynamic urban learning laboratory. So we used the initial EE Ford grant to establish a faculty grant program to support teachers so they could network, experiment, and establish relationships with local organizations in order to enhance the quality of their learning experience at our school. Through faculty designed City as Our Campus programs, students have taken part in groundbreaking hands-on projects. They've designed, conducted, and documented animal behavior studies on endangered species at the Pittsburgh Zoo. I wanted to integrate my own passion for conservation and biodiversity into my teaching. I developed the research course to introduce students to pressures being placed on the natural world. The partnership with the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium enabled us to use the zoo as a living laboratory. I've seen the experiences change students. It opens their eyes to endangered animals in new ways, and in some cases it opens up whole new education and career options they never knew existed. Students have practiced jazz at the feet of master composers and musicians from around the world at the acclaimed Manchester Craftsmen's Guild, a jazz preservation society, and Grammy-winning recording studio. Our partnership with Manchester Craftsmen's Guild, MCG Jazz, immerses our students in jazz in a host of exciting ways. From studio and live recording experiences with MCG Jazz visiting artists, to performances and workshops with such world-class musicians as John Clayton, Earl Clue, Alice Marcellus, Bob Mincer, and Gary Burton. The entire upper school student body has knowledge of jazz now, and many students have taken an interest in learning more, developing appreciation for an art form whose survival depends on cultivating the next generation of listeners. And WT students were the first to uncover and analyze primary records of the anti-Vietnam War movement in Pittsburgh at the archives of the Industrial Society, realizing insights other historians had missed. I took my history students to the archives so they could delve into a store of primary resources surrounding Pittsburgh and the Vietnam conflict, and we stumbled across a treasure trove. They uncovered for the first time what motivated the groups that responded to the war, the ideology of those who opposed it, and who was in these groups. All of that was new. They were able to apply the findings in original ways, all on their own initiative, and to challenge their own textbook by Stoughton Lind. What Lind discovered as true in the 1980s, students discovered as true in the 1960s and 70s. It didn't undermine Lind, but it made it more complex. I've learned from my students that their intellectual engagement and voice can be compelling and can make a contribution. Thanks to an innovative partnership with the Pittsburgh Public Theater, students are gaining an in-depth look at the creation of professional theater from concept to closing night, studying the fascinating world of technical theater. It's extraordinary for us to be able to have a partnership with Pittsburgh Public Theater. Most partnerships involving schools and theaters are limited to observing shows. But we wanted to go a step further and enable our students to tap into what really goes on behind the scenes, visiting costume and scene shops, observing dress and tech rehearsals, studying stage combat, stage management, and set design, taking part in seminars and workshops, and having consultations with tech professionals on our shows. This unique partnership has inspired several of our students to go on and study technical theater in college. Today, thanks to the generous support of the Edward E. Ford Foundation and its Educational Leadership Grant, City as Our Campus is poised for its next leap forward. Independent schools are interdependent with their communities. Each school's destiny is tied to that of its region. By actively engaging students in the public arena as artists, researchers, communicators, and advocates in the cultural, political, and economic life of the city, WT will seek to serve both as a partner in Pittsburgh's revitalization 
and as a leader in educational transformation, fostering within students an ethos of active inquiry and civic engagement. A required social studies course for seniors, the Urban Laboratory will use the region as a venue for the research and study of history, economics, ecology, and social justice themes, and the challenges faced by cities. From these challenges can spring opportunities for problem solving and personal growth for students. Alongside their academic work, students will pursue active research projects and teams, each focusing on recognized urban problems. Research teams will have a mentor drawn from appropriate local agencies. Final projects will culminate with a formal presentation of findings and proposed solutions to Pittsburgh city government. The arts are a crucial source of vitality in Pittsburgh. The region is home to one of the top urban cultural districts in the United States. The Urban Arts Revealed will build upon WT's strength and relationships in the arts, offering students the opportunity to participate in a multiplicity of arts experiences, both on campus and off. Through the Urban Arts Revealed, WT will deepen each student's experience with the arts, developing the critical ability to innovate and imagine possibilities in an unscripted world. A student-developed interactive website, the Urban Online Forum, will serve as the virtual hub for City as Our Campus. Upper school students will use the web to archive City as Our Campus projects and experiences and will serve as content and discussion editors. The next phase of innovation will be to explore how WT might fully integrate City as Our Campus into the upper school experience. Perhaps through interdisciplinary units and courses based on City as Our Campus programs, an integrated science core program with specialized electives, an expansion of our technology and mathematics curriculum in robotics and advanced mathematics courses. We're organizing the Summer Institute for teachers to plan courses and tackle logistical constraints and redesigning the upper school schedule to accommodate these initiatives. As we continue to engage faculty and students in the educational and cultural landscape of Pittsburgh, we're excited about how the Edward E. Ford Foundation Leadership Grant is challenging schools to innovate. We're honored to have the endorsement of an organization that has studied hundreds of leading independent schools identifying programs with the greatest potential to have an impact on secondary education nationwide.